there's always something wonderful to be found out out of things that have gone wrong. Good. And what's really come up was that my professional confidence in doing this project is it's pretty high. I'm not not like you know no expert, not thinking that everything's tickety boo, but I'm pretty confident. I know I've done this sort of thing a long time. I've made products, made national products and stuff, and um, I've had a background professionally working in mental health and therapy a long time ago, um, and I'm okay with my personal experience. I spent a lot of time personally trying to get myself away from the world that I was part of and the stories that were given to me and to change my life. Oh, my dog's just come. I love my dogs, they're really important to me. My dogs are really important to me. So, the one thing I didn't expect with this project, two things, I'll start with the easy thing first, the professional side. I really expected to have major difficulties of getting men to come forward, speak to me. And I'm not suggesting that when it comes to the putting that product together that some people might decide that they don't want to be part of it at that point. And that's okay because I don't own their stories. Nobody should own anybody's story. I'm graciously being allowed to borrow it to, to do something with it to hopefully help people. And if somebody wants to retract that story, it's theirs, they can do that. No explanation needed. Obviously, once it's gone to print and the film's already, you know, that, that, that's an issue that can't be done, but everybody will get the opportunity to decide at, at that final stage before things go to print. So that's been really quite refreshing that actually men are wanting to talk about these things. Some men are able to talk about these things. It's just that we don't have a system in place. We don't have a space set up to... to to emphasise that and to be the catalyst for that or people maybe to, to help that because it's quite hard sometimes to tell your story but if you've got a good connected person with you who can, who can facilitate that storytelling with you then it becomes something that people really want to do. What has come up is, I think in a way I think the suicide is the last taboo that for me that I need to really touch base with. And I can talk very professionally about my life experiences and I can talk very personally about most of my life experiences but suicide's one that I think there's a little bit of disconnection from the feelings that I have. So what this project's done for me is actually thrown up reminiscence, memory. So all these memories that have been not only to some level dealt with to the point where they were dealt with in a, a good enough way so that I could move on with the next stage of my life. There's still some final fluff around that story that needs to be kind of done. So, 